What is going on guys, this is Kak, and this is a squad build, so I'm going to get straight into it uh, and pretty much just give you reviews on the players. So Rodrigo Palacio, didn't really like him, his finishing was quite poor, would not recommend him, he was in there for chemistry reasons of course. Franco Bury, didn't mind him, it was actually pretty good, pretty pacey. For me, I couldn't school with him that well, I, I feel as though the ball was too close to his feet, so it was kind of annoying. Eric Lamella was a massive surprise, uh, his, his long shot was actually pretty decent, you'll see in one of the clips in this video it was amazing. Cambiasso and Pogba were purely based, uh, put in the squad purely based on the reason that they got good passing, decent defending stats, and we're just their position there was just to hold the ball. But my team of the season, Tony Cruz, one of my favourite players of all time. I absolutely love him. Favourite player from Bayern Munich. He was a god. He only scored one goal, but that was like a, he scored me a knuckleball free kick, and his long shot for me was kind of disappointing. But he did his job well, and he got a couple of assists. David Alaba and Boateng, they're just two solid defending, uh, defensive players, you know. Alaba's got the pace, he can get forward, he can get back. Boateng's pretty strong. Um, for me, I don't know, like, would I try the team of the season? Probably not. I've bought Mexes because when I saw the card, it kind of caught my eye, you know. He, he had some pretty decent stats, wanted to give him a go. And uh, Abate, of course, is in the squad purely based on pace reasons. Now, my goalkeeper for this uh, for this team was Manuel Neuer. For me, he's the best goalkeeper in the game. Um, you know, Casillas is, is, isn't too bad, but I'd rather use Manuel Neuer. And one of my favourite goalkeepers in, in real life. So, that squad altogether probably cost me like 1.2 mil, I believe. Maybe a bit less. Not not too sure. I pretty much sold, pretty much bought that squad after I sold on my Ronaldo because I absolutely hated him. But this is one of my favourite teams I've ever played with. You know, look at my Wagner Love. Um, he's got 20 goals in 20 games. That's a pretty... Good god game ratio in my opinion. Rubinho, he's you know scores one every one goal every two games. He's got I actually like him. He's got some pretty decent skills. Now Hulk, Hulk has scored me one of the best volleys I've scored uh, on this game. He's just an absolute freak. If you get a chance in space to have a shot with him for forty yards, I just do it. Most of the time it will go in or just goalkeeper and get your corner. Carlos Eduardo preferred him in FIFA twelve. You know he's in there for the five star skills and the left foot. Ramirez, in my opinion, the best center mid you can have in this game. Gets forward, gets back, has a decent long shot, can defend, decent pace, good pass. What what else do you need? Ronaldinho. With him, eh, I don't know. I've tried his inform. I didn't like his inform. It felt like his normal card. I do want to try his second inform, but you can't have a skilling score without him in there. Let's be real. Felipe Luiz, uh, pretty much the only decent left back besides Marcelo, in my opinion. He's got a pretty good long shot on him as well. David Luiz... I don't even have to say anything about him. We all know why he's in the squad. Same with Dede. Good pace, good strength, good defending. For me, I don't think I scored any... I must have scored a couple of headers with him. I might have scored, you know, one, like, with his boot. Not too sure. I made this team... Well, I've still got this team. I just haven't played with them in a while. And uh, Danilo, purely based on the fact that he's got 88 pace. And Julio Cesar, what other um, Brazilian goalkeeper can you have besides him on Diego Lopez? And I do prefer to use Julio Cesar. So they're the two squads. So there are going to be some goals uh, in this game. In this, uh, sorry, in this video. Now, reason me and Rob took you know a year off YouTube, probably even more now, is because we had a lot of stuff going on uh, pretty much last year, around this time really. And we just thought it'd be best to take a break and you know just just focus on school or you know we had a lot of things going on. And this is the goal I was talking about with Hulk. That was a pretty nice goal. But, you know, we just had a lot of things going on. So we took a break. We didn't really feel like putting up videos because, really, what what could you... For, for me, it was at the end of FIFA 12. FIFA 13 was about to come out. And trying to think of a new series was was really hard. Like, everyone had pretty much done everything else. And if you made a series within two weeks, some other bigger YouTuber would most likely have been doing something along the lines of that. So, uh, me and him just thought, you know what, we'll just, we'll just stop. We might get back into it FIFA 13. We'll see how we feel. Now, FIFA 13 came around the corner, and still, we didn't know what really to put up, and it was kind of disappointing, because we wanted to put videos up, we were going for good goals, I was always recording every game I played, but, you know, we, we didn't really know what to do with the channel. Now, I've come to the point where FIFA 14 is about to come out, you know, I work full-time, so when I get to play, when I get an opportunity to play FIFA, um, you know... I love it, like, I'll go for good goals because I don't have enough time during the day or the night to be able to play, you know, maybe 10, 15 games of FIFA. I'll be lucky to get three to four in. So, at the moment, the way I see, you know, this channel going is I can most likely put up, you know, a new squad build, you know, three times a week. 
um, because I, I absolutely love making these squads, going for good goals, all that kind of stuff. And you know, in the comment section, I've already like I've already recorded about six episodes worth of footage, which is you know pretty decent for for me. I've got a week off work, so I've pretty much been trying to score as many good goals as possible, and then sell the team on as quickly as possible as well to make a new team to score more goals. So I'm gonna try and get at least maybe eight episodes worth of goals before I start to take maybe recommendations or suggestions on what players you'd like to see in a squad. You know, I could like I could ask you guys name three players that you want me to build a hybrid around, and I'll try and score some good goals. You know, with them and make a team with 99 chemistry. I'm always down for that. Uh, me and Rob are probably, I'm not sure if he's going to upload, I haven't really talked to him about it, this is more, you know, me wanting to put videos up, but the way I see it is, I want to, I want to try and, you know, make enough FIFA content so, you know, people start watching us, so when FIFA 14 comes around, we can really, you know, expand this channel and grow. I'm going to try and start to sell coins again, I'm going to try and see if I can get sponsored by someone, um, depending on, depending on, you know, if someone's willing to, you know, try and give us coins so we can make more squads to then sell more coins. You know, we used to do pretty well with that. And, you know, that, that'll all sort out in the near future. So, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this squad builder and, the, you know, the goals that the squad scored. Uh, this is the long shot I was telling you about, and have a good day. Fuck me dead. <laughs> I had to hit the post. Alright, guys, talk to you later. See you next time.